Hey guys, Renard here. Today I'm in uh, Star Stable Online. I'm gonna be checking out the new Appaloosas they just added to the game. I don't really play this game much anymore, but I still like collecting the horses and just expanding my stable to have them all. <laughs> it's a fun little horse collecting game, but I've definitely outgrown the main quests and a lot of the story. It's just no longer really applies to me. But I'll meet you guys over at Steve's farm where most of the horses are so we can go check them out. And here we are over in Steve's farm. There's three horses over here and there's two more over on the other side of the, uh, I guess the horse hair thing or the trainer. And the first one here is a black horse with a bl white blanket. It's very pretty. I don't normally go for these ones. I just don't like the blanket as much as I like spots. Like this one here, I chose it because I love the beautiful patterns and just the craziness of it. It's very pretty, so it's one to consider, but all of the Appaloosa are pretty. I'm gonna have to make a decision at the end of the day. And the next one up here, I like to call this one the coral one. It looks like a coral reef with the spots bleeding into the other patterns. I definitely a really strong contender I'm, and plus it has that white blanket covering part of the spots in the back it's just so pretty and the last one in the set of three is the spotted Appaloosa it just looks like a Dalmatian it's so cute little puppy <laughs> and the stats in the Appaloosa aren't bad either Endurance is useless, and there's no horse with natural swiftness. The discipline and agility are good. I have... I'm always looking for horses with agility, because strength... Strength's good, but it doesn't mean you need, need it as much. And I have horses... I already have so many horses with a lot of strength. And the next set is right over here. Two more blankets. This one has a little bit of a face mask, though. It's a little bit pretty. <laughs> There's little holes in the eyes and a pink snout. Well, oh, those blue eyes are really pretty, too. And the next horse up here... It has a blanket, too, but there's spots in it, just like this one. But it's a darker color. And instead of a face mask, it has a blaze with a black mane. Oh, this one's probably in another contender. I really like that color. I love bays. But yeah, those are the ones over here. And there's one more over in Fort Pinta, so I'll meet you guys there. And here we are. This is the last Appaloosa. Hmm. I was expecting something a little bit different, but it's okay. Uh... I, I think this one's probably the weakest of the bunch. I don't know how I feel about the brown mane. It's cute, but... I just don't know. I don't... That, I don't think this one's... Gonna be competing to be bought. It just doesn't do it for me. It has a blaze in the front. It has that blanket and spots in the blanket. It has socks. But that brown mane... Mm, it just doesn't work for me. But yeah, I'm gonna make a decision and I'll be back to you in a few moments with the horse I decided to get. And here we are. Now, where is it? I think I see it in the corner over here. If we make our way over here, there's the horse. It's a little bit buggy, it doesn't say its name on the plate over here. Here we go. Fancy free. The name I decided on it. Little spotted horse. I just couldn't help the spots. It just looks so beautiful. I especially love the mane I chose for it. The braided tail looked beautiful, but unfortunately you can't choose the braid can't choose the tail and the mane separately. So I chose this one, which looks very pretty. And I love how it moves. It is just so beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and get some clothing for it. 
well, some tack for it, and I'll find a pasture nearby to go ahead and show you what this horse is about. <laughs> 